It is the front line of the world's most dangerous battle, where mankind is both the enemy and the victim. The flames which tear through this land are inflicting wounds which threaten the very being of the earth we populate. And yet they burn not because of nature, but because of man. We travelled into the heart of the Amazon rainforest to witness the damage being done to this most crucial habitat. Home to a billion trees and millions of species, and now burning on a scale never seen before. 40,000 fires now burn above and below this green canopy. An area three times the size of Greater London has been destroyed this year alone. This is not just a, a, a forest burning, this is almost a cemetery because all you can see is that Amazon, it's extremely fundamental for the water uh, system. It is also fundamental to the quality of the air we breathe and the speed at which our climate is changed. However, economic gain is driving an indifference to the natural world. When the Brazilian president came to power in January, he did so having promised to weaken environmental protections. This is the consequence. When the fires are set to clear the land, they burn without respite. Those who set them do so without reprimand. The economy doing battle with the environment. On a traditional front line, once the fighting is over, the rebuilding can begin. But the thing with the Amazon is that it can never be repaired, which means every one of us and the generations to come will live and potentially die with the consequences of what's happening here now. The military is now involved in the fight for the forest, but they face a significant challenge. The big problem is the number of small fires, he says. If it was one or a few big fires, it would be easier to manage. For those living in the forest, the threat of fire never abates, but the scale is wearying. People like Antonio de Jesus are now questioning the way the land is cleared. It should not happen, he says. The grass is burned and then it reaches the forest and then that burns and affects us all, all of society. Nature should not be killed. But nature is being killed and on a vast scale, defying even its ability to regenerate. Emma Murphy, MyTV News, in the Amazon rainforest.